Surbiton welcome second place Beeston to Sugden Road on the weekend. The home side sixth in the table and there was a moment's silence before the match for Remembrance Day. Forward from Marshall, being robbed by a combination of Gandhi and Gleghorn and Gleghorn plays in Gandhi and Gandhi could be in here. The shot and that's a good save from Harry Gibson. Good robbing by the pair from Beeston. And that's a lovely ball from Gleghorn to Gandhi, who has a look, a look, little look around. One touch to keep the ball going forward on the reverse stick. Good save from Harry Gibson, but it was at a decent height for the keeper. Here is uh, Stephen Lawrence, the Beeston skipper, down in that pocket, trying to play his way out through Proctor, but it's been turned over. And here's a chance, Beckett. Blowing it forward to the edge of the circle. Ansel, lovely little ball underneath to Farrington. Farrington across the face of goal. And Alan Forsyth with a wonderful finish to a wonderful team goal from Surbiton. Seven minutes in, it's 1-0. It all started by the turnover. Beckett with a lovely ball. That is delightful from Ansel. First time ball across from Farrington. And that man is there, Forsyth. His fifth of the season between Hudgwan's legs. Off the corner. Urbiton, they go to the right hand. Castle and Marshall holds his head. That was very close. Let's have another look at it from behind the goal. And it's a combination of Sawsby and Hudgewatt that keeps Marshall out. Marshall playing it over to that right hand side. Ball comes back in. Now, is this going to be a chance? Ball played out to Forsyth, who almost decapitates Mark Gleghorn. Ball comes right across there's half a touch by Sawsby it doesn't quite fall for Wallace but Marshall last season's leading goal scorer almost decapitating this season's leading goal scorer the penalty corner this time it goes to the right hand castle there's a bit of a improvisation here is Wallace from the first time ball across and it's on to the end of Dave Beckett's stick and Beckett makes it Serbiton 2 Beeston 0 it was a bit of a mess at the top of the circle, but good improvisation. As the ball comes in from Furlong, it balloons up into the air. First time ball back across from Wallace. And the only person who doesn't miss it is Dave Beckett. On this right hand side, Mails gets that ball back, still going Mails, and here goes Goodfield. Goodfield still making his run and Mells has found it. Goodfield at full stretch and Wallace with the touch. But Hudron makes the save. Good combination play down this right hand flank between Mells and Goodfield. Ball from Mells to Goodfield who at full stretch gets it across. Wallace gets the touch. Hudron with a smart save with his stick. Penalty corner to Beeston, it goes to Gleghorn, Gleghorn fires it in, Gibson makes the save, here is Willars, plays it down to Gleeson, he tries to get it across and then Parks makes half a clearance and then Creed thumps it downfield. Well, that was as close as they've got since that opening chance for Gandhi, missed though by Noblet over his head, Gleeson tries to get it across, big stick of Nick Parks to get it away. Reed, that's that right hand side, and that's a monstrous aerial. I think that's Ansel, he's played it all the way forward. Oh, it's being missed by Gleason, and Forsyth could be in here. Forsyth rolls round onto the reverse stick and buries it into the net. And a minute before half time, Surbiton make it 3 0. Well, it's route one stuff from Surbiton, but it's very effective. It's a huge aerial from Ansel. One bounce, Gleason guilty of a terrible error. Really should be trapping that. And once Forsyth is round your last line of defence, it's really only ever going to be one result, and that is that. The ball in the back of your net. Serbton 3, Beeston 0. Farrington hands it back out, and the ball's come all the way forward. And here is uh, that man again, Forsyth. Forsyth draws the save, and it's back across the face of goal. And Nagel brings it away for Beeston, but... Beeston allow this ball to go past what one two three four players Forsyth up against Lawrence 
Good save by Hajwan. Falls to Beckett, who tries to get it back across. Penalty corner. Falls to Gleghorn. It's been stopped by the number one runner. And the follow up by Hibble falls back to Gleghorn off Harry Gibson. And Gleghorn, 44 minutes in, gives Beeston a lifeline. Good running by the number one runner, who is Creed. But Gibson say falls to Gleghorn, and Gleghorn scores his 13th of the season. So from the restart, this is good field. He's got it to Wallace. And that's a lovely looking ball, and an injection of pace by Surbiton. Alan Forsyth. Oh, my word! Alan Forsyth buries it in the top corner of the net. A hat-trick for Alan Forsyth. He's only scored four goals before this match. He's almost doubled his tally for the season in a half. But as he rolls away, this is a cracking finish into the corner of the net. 4-1. Here is Lawrence to Willars. Willars up to Gleeson. Gleeson under all sorts of pressure. And Gleeson has been robbed and an opportunity here now for Serbton. This is Goodfield and Hadran makes the save. Goodfield have players over Hildreth on the far post, but it's good robbing by uh, Parks. And Gleeson, Parks aware of Goodfield. And watch Parks and uh, Hildreth continue their runs, but they couldn't be found by Goodfield. Into the centre here is Gleeson. Gleeson well, got too close to the Serbian defence, and there's a break on here. And here is Forsyth. Forsyth up against Stephen Lawrence, the Beeston captain. Forsyth into the 23, still going. He's got support if he wants it in the shape of Beckett. Beckett, oh, wonderful battle back to Forsyth, who tries to lob the onrushing Hudjwan. But the keeper makes the save. Beckett, head up. He's well aware that Forsyth has continued the run. And Forsyth trying to outsmart the keeper. And only find the keeper's helmet. Penalty corner. Here's the Gleghort. Gleghort, good save by Gibson. The rebound is still there. The follow-up shot from Hibble. And while well, Stephen Lawrence trying to get it back across. The stick too high. Leghorn, good save. And Hibble couldn't quite get his shot away, but as Stephen Lawrence here on the post here, stick too high as Gaul comes across. Gandhi with the free hit, trying to find Richard Lawrence, and that's a disastrous free hit, and Surbiton could be in here. A chance for... Zach Wallace, who can't quite make it stick. Wallace gets the ball back from Beckett at full stretch. And once again, it's a terrible error in the beast in defence. But this time, it doesn't lead to a goal because Hudran makes the save with his right stick. Seven deep in that right-hand pocket. Ball over the top, and Wallace has won the free hit because Gleason didn't give him five. Here is Wallace. Wallace plays it up to Forsyth. Forsyth up against Stephen Lawrence. The spin, the shot, the goal. 5-1. Surbiton lead. And Alan Forsyth comes up with a spin and shot once more. And again, it results in the ball being buried, buried in the back of the Beeston net. Wonderful ball from Wallace. And Stephen Lawrence must have been thinking, not again. As Forsyth spins him. And from that distance, Hadran doesn't stand a chance. Gandhi, the running goal, gives away the free hit, which is quickly taken by Richard Lawrence, and Gore comes up with the interception. Beeston claiming he wasn't five, but Gore's just rifled that forward to Forsyth, and Forsyth is in again. The fourth by spin and shot, and it's another goal. Six of the best for Surreton, five of them for Alan Forsyth, and Beeston have been truly put to the sword here at Sugden Lane. Gore with the interception. It's another route one goal for Surbiton, they won't care. Big long pass from Gore, Forsyth in round the back again. 
And it's deja vu, this time on the reverse stick. Spin, shot, bang. Brilliant stuff from Forsyth and Surbiton. Well, Surbiton might want some more here as they come in to the 23. Stephen Lawrence with the tackle. Finds Gandhi, who plays it up to Proctor. And that is the end of that. Beeston are put out of their misery. The tormentor was Alan Forsyth. Five of the six goals for Surbiton. He doubles his tally for the season in the one match. And he is firmly back.